just going back for a second, what you said about sort of the hardest thing, people not being involved. I mean, that's yeah. the one thing that we've sort of really prided our sort of Summit Garage Premier League on. It, it, it's a league that's run um, by bowlers, for bowlers, yeah. uh, and by bowlers who, who know, you know, the score of, of played, if you like, at the top level and, and know yeah. what bowlers, you know, want and don't want. So and I think that really does make a difference between sort of success and failure, doesn't it really, Mel? It, it, it can do. I mean, one of, one of the questions that came up was, if we allowed these teams from outside Sheffield to join join Sheffield, did it mean that their vet teams could join? Mm. They didn't seem to understand that it was a, as a league on its own. It wasn't going to involve any other teams lower than the top leagues. Yeah. Because the vets were saying, well, we don't want to travel this far. It, it's never going to involve that, you know what I mean? That's right, yeah. And they, they, get a, they get a few fears, and I don't know why, because we're only trying to improve the game, and if we improve it at top, it passes down. Yeah, that's right. Everybody gets a bit better, hopefully. Yeah, exactly. So the, the league obviously has a committee, Mel. Um, can, can you tell us who's uh, who's involved in running the league? The actual, the actual committee is as small as we, we could make it. There's only actually three of us. Right, OK. There's myself, Steve Lonier, who's the Sheffield and District Secretary, and Mr Robert Jackson, which no doubt you'll know. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the three that's going to deal with any problems that we come across. Yeah. The actual committee that started, it also involved a couple of other people off the Sheffield Park. Mm-hmm. Um, John Lundin Pulbe and Derek Spooner. Yeah. Those are the main five. And then and then it was just one representative from each club. Right, okay. Oh, sorry, we invited two representatives from each club at the bigger meeting. Yeah. And we voted on everything. So every club's had a, had a full say yeah. what, what and how we do it. Yeah, good. like I say, it, it, same as what you just said, it's bowlers running a bowling league. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So they gain across what they want and, and what they feel will improve, yeah. improve the game. Yeah. But uh, I gather you don't actually play in the league yourself, Mel, is that right? I'm not quite good enough, apparently. I'm the RB team at Maybe Bowling. <laughs> right. We have got a very good A team. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see what this oh, season brings in. The future, I, might, I might get a season in it, you never know. Yeah, good, good. Um, it, it is good to see the ladies team involved, obviously, yeah. and, and given the chance to pick the skills uh, against men. Um, As you can understand, that created a lot of discussion, that one. Well, I, I was just about to say, knowing yeah. what, what we've gone through you know, in the Midlands with ours, did, yeah. did, did you have any objections to the ladies' involvement, Mel? Not from the people that were involved at the meeting, mm. but from, from other areas. And the ladies know this, because the criticism has been passed on to them as well. Yeah. Um, but I think they're they, they, they standing up to a great challenge here, really. Yeah. I mean, the, the results so far in the league don't point out how hard they're playing. Mm. I mean, they've, they've played some of the top teams so far. Mm. And uh, they're not doing too well, but they'll be there next year, and I think they'll be fighting harder next year. Yeah, well, it's not going to do the game any harm, is it? You not know, at it, all. It, not at all. They can only come out of it better and players it can, themselves. And it can only improve again the ladies, the ladies' game as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, in Sheffield, don't well, you know, but we have actually a distance, uh, a maximum distance in our ladies' game. I don't know why we've got it, but we've got it. Right. Okay. We have a six metres maximum length. Right. Now, obviously, when our county ladies don't play county, there's yeah. no such thing. No. When no. they go out to the area, there's no such thing. Yeah. Most ladies do play corners. Yeah. And our ladies, they're told in Sheffield, aren't allowed to. Oh, gosh. But in this, but in this league, they can't. You know what I mean? I think I'll, I'll, I've got to hope, Mel, then, that I don't get a transfer with my job to Sheffield, because I'll be, I'll, I'll be buggered if I had to play less than 36 metres. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, right. they, can, they can actually call players on it, and, and, and I believe it is done. Right, OK, that's... And they've got players to our vets and our juniors, by the way, as well. I've never understood the rule. Oh, right, OK. Right, it's, so. uh, it's str- struggling then, yeah? Mm. Yeah. So it's, it's up and running, and, I mean, what what are your hopes for, for the future, Mel? I mean, how, how would you like to see the league develop? Well, really, we haven't gone much into that. I've got a lot of things in the air. I mean, mm. we could... There's no reason why there couldn't be a second division, I suppose. Yeah. It, but to need more teams from outside Sheffield to sort of come forward and say they'd be interested. Mm. We've taken five from Sheffield. You see, we can't really take another another lump of team. It, it, it would only be probably another four, three or four maybe. Yeah. If we need to. The other way around, it, you see, when it comes to what we said is we'll give them a year without any relegation. Yeah. But obviously the following year, if you want to keep the quality, there's got to be something to play for. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And another suggestion is that we invite the top team from each area to go into a playoff, mm. you know, with the bottom two. Mm. So they have to be a Super League team yeah. to get into it. So it keeps the quality there. Yeah. But which way are we going to go? We 
we're going to discuss it end of this year. This is our learning year. Yeah. Of course, things out, don't they? Yeah, of course, course. There will be some problems come up. We will iron them out. We will sort them out, and hopefully, we'll improve. That's right. Yeah. I mean, we we had the same. You know, the, the first yeah. year was very much a, a bit of a test bed, and, and you don't get things a hundred percent right. You know, first no. uh, first attempt. You know, and I so. You end up with a second division, didn't you? Yeah, well, well, we've actually got 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 um th- three divisions now. Three, um, yeah. we we did exactly the same as as you've done the first year. No no promotion, no relegation. Yeah. Um, so people had sort of two uh, two seasons at it. Um, you know, which, which was well received. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and then as I say, well, now we we have. Uh, we have three uh, three divisions now, um, so it just shows you what what can be achieved. You know, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I mean, these, these teams now, you see, they're playing teams in their own areas. They were supreme. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, they basically won the league. Well, between two of them, they won the league before a bowler played. Yeah. Now they're playing teams that win league. Yes, exactly. And I think that some of them are going to have to build upon that. They're going to have to say, look, yeah, we're good enough in our own area. Yeah. But in this Super League, we need some better players. Yeah. yeah. And I'm hoping that they, they get sort some strength out and, 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 and challenge more and more next year. That's right. I think it'll be a great competition next year. Yeah. There yeah. is one thing, just, you know, our first game, our 18th first game, just happened to be a five o'clock game. Mm hmm. And when it been a five o'clock game, there were players from at least five other teams came to watch, and the atmosphere was back. Um, you know, like a, nearly like a county match. Yeah, yeah. Where, where it, it sort of dwindled off a little bit, and it was, it was really it created some interest. Yeah, I was going to I was going to ask you that actually. Obviously, now it's up yeah. and running. Have you had any interest from from other clubs? Uh, oh, one or two clubs. Yeah, I mean, like I said, they come out of the way to watch the games when they can. Yeah. And a couple of people have said, yeah. Carry on doing what you're doing, Molly. It's alright. I've also had people say we don't agree with what you're doing, which you do, don't you? But, yeah, that's right. Yeah. But it's because uh, criticism, you get more bad criticism than you do people saying you're doing right. Yeah. You, if they think you're doing right, they don't say anything. No, no. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, I think it's created lots of interest. Mm. Lots of interest. I mean, I'm putting the results on on the betting ball. You know, Andy Mailer. Yeah. The betting ball, Andy Mailer runs for us. Yeah. I'm putting the results on there as quick as I can. I'm also putting on the, the lucky draw winners, so that's taking a bit of interest. Mm-hmm. Which I must point out, by the way, some clubs are putting into a pot and they're going to share it anyway. Right. But uh, I have to put a name on all the money. Yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, it, it's great. I'm quite excited with it, actually. Yeah, good, good. Well, like, like you said earlier, you know, it can only do South Yorkshire bowling, you know, yeah. on the whole, yeah. good, can't it, you know? And, yeah. Um, and, and people will, will benefit from that, both men and ladies mm. uh, alike. We see we we, we had a small well, a small problem. I would say we had a small. We had a large, in my opinion, a large problem over the last few years. We've actually lost some very good bowlers to Yorkshire, mm. and when you ask them why, you know, and, and, and they all roughly said the same thing: better greens, better facilities, but most importantly, tougher competition. Yeah. So that's what we're trying to create. That's and, right. And I'll let them know through your program. I am trying to draw back, and I'm going to keep trying to draw them back. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to do more and more to make this more interesting to try and get them back home. That's right. Yeah. Well, you're a credit to to your club and, and to the county, Mel. You know, it's um, you know, to to be the best at this game, we all know. You know, you, you've got to play. Uh, you've got to play the best. You've got to play the um, best. You know, yeah. and um, you know, you, you, it's uh, it's it's great what you're doing up there. You know, and I'm sure. Uh, you know, South Yorkshire uh, players, you know, are, are appreciative of what you're doing and, and it can only, you know, benefit. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just on behalf of obviously Mel, myself and Talking Bowl, just like to say well done to you, Mel, and we hope the league, you know, continues to grow and uh, and go from strength to strength. And uh, and thanks for joining us on, on Talking Bowl's radio this evening. Oh, well, thank you very much. All right, I'll see you soon then, Mel. Soon, then. Thank you. Yeah. Bye bye. bye. Right, that was Mel Hobson, the, the organiser of the new South Yorkshire Premier League, which is kicked off and um, looks like being a huge success.